Howdy folks! Get ready to take a trip down memory lane as we dive into the world of Mission Impossible like never before. Today, we're on a mission to uncover the fascinating transformations of the beloved cast members. From their iconic roles on the show to the present year of 2023, we will have the entire cast of Then and Now, and I will be revealing all the juicy details about the original names of the characters and how the actors have changed since then. All right, grab your popcorn and let's check it out together. Tom Cruise as Ethan Hunt. Tom Cruise, renowned for his portrayal of Impossible Mission Force agent Ethan Hunt, found himself embroiled in a web of intrigue when framed for the murder of his team following a mission gone awry. A mere year after the debut of Mission Impossible, Tom Cruise secured his second Oscar nomination, a testament to his acting prowess. This nod came for his memorable performance in Jerry Maguire, a role that also earned him his second Golden Globe. Tom's impressive acting career extended to other acclaimed genres, including sci-fi, action, and drama, over the past 25 years. Notably, he garnered praise, yet another Golden Globe nomination, for his unexpected cameo in the 2008 comedy Tropic Thunder. The iconic yet polarizing superstar remained in the spotlight in 2020 and early 2021 due to his involvement in MI7, which came with headlines related to his stance on COVID-19 safety measures on set and alleged connections to co-star Haley Atwell. Rumors surrounding Tom's relationships have also been rife, including links to Oblivion co-star Olga Kurilenko and fellow Scientologist Laura Prepon, now married Ben Foster, and Yolanda Pecoraro, subsequently wed to Chris Masterson. Following his 2012 separation from third wife Katie Holmes, Tom Cruise's personal life drew attention, and he has been associated with Vanilla Sky co-star Penelope Cruz and briefly dated Sofia Vergara before her fame. Beyond his romantic escapades, Tom Cruise expanded his family, adopting two children with Nicole Kidman in the early 90s and welcoming daughter Suri Cruz with Katie in 2006, shortly before their marriage. However, it's noteworthy that public sightings of Tom with his daughter have been scarce since 2013. John Voight as Jim Phelps John Voight, renowned for his portrayal of Jim Phelps, Ethan Hunt's mentor and the leader of their IMF team, continued to make significant strides in his acting career post-Mission Impossible. Following his role in the series, John Voight's talent garnered recognition with multiple Golden Globe nominations. These nods came for his remarkable performances in The Rainmaker, Ali, which also earned him his fourth Oscar nomination, and Ray Donovan. Notably, he secured a Golden Globe win for his work on the Showtime series and received two Emmy nominations for his portrayal of the father of the titular Fixer. His Emmy nominations extended to his work in the made-for-TV movie Uprising and his portrayal of the title character on the miniseries Pope John Paul II. John Voight's cinematic journey over the past 25 years included diverse roles in films such as Anaconda, Varsity Brews, Pearl Harbor, Transformers, and Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. He shared the screen with his real-life daughter Angelina Jolie in the 2001 film Lara Croft Tomb Raider, playing her character's father. In 2022, he's poised to reprise the role of Mickey Donovan in the Ray Donovan movie, marking another chapter in his illustrious career. Emmanuel Bayard as Claire. Emmanuel Bayard, known for her role as IMF agent Claire Phelps, Jim's wife in Mission Impossible, chose to primarily pursue her acting career in her native France following her participation in the Hollywood production. Since her appearance in Mission Impossible, Emmanuelle Bayard has predominantly engaged in French film projects. Her talent and dedication to her craft led to her eighth César Award nomination, the French equivalent of an Oscar nod, for her role in Les Destinées Sentimentales in 2001. Alongside her cinematic endeavors, her personal life also saw significant developments. In 2001, the year Mission Impossible debuted, she welcomed her second child, son Jonah, with composer David Francois Moreau. Prior to this, she had a daughter named Nellie with actor Daniel Auteuil, to whom she was briefly married in the mid-90s. In 2008, Emmanuel Bayard entered into matrimony once again, this time with actor Michael Cohen. The couple expanded their family through the adoption of son Surafel in the following year. However, they decided to separate in 2011. 
Emmanuel later found love with documentary filmmaker Frédéric Chaudier, culminating in their marriage in 2018. Henry Zerny as Kittredge. Henry Zerny, renowned for his portrayal of IMF director Eugene Kittredge, the character convinced that Ethan is the IMF mole, is slated to return to this role in MI7 and possibly in MI8 as well. Beyond his involvement in the Mission Impossible franchise, Henry Cerny has left his mark on both film and television. Some of his notable cinematic ventures include appearances in films such as The Pink Panther, the 2010 adaptation of The A-Team, and the 2019 thriller Ready or Not. Nevertheless, it's his television work that has garnered him considerable recognition. From 2011 to 2015, he assumed the role of Conrad Grayson in the popular series Revenge, and made guest appearances on shows like The Tudors, Quantico, and Sharp Objects. During the premiere of Mission Impossible in 1996, Henry Zerny attended with his then-girlfriend Dana Delaney. After their separation, he found love again and tied the knot with Claudine Cassidy. The couple has a son named Cameron, sharing a fulfilling family life together. John Reno as Kriego. John Reno, renowned for his role as helicopter pilot Franz Krieger, an ex-IMF agent who joins forces with Ethan after the demise of his own team, has continued to make a mark in the world of cinema. Following his appearance in Mission Impossible, Jean Reno's career expanded significantly, encompassing a diverse range of films including Godzilla, The Pink Panther, The Da Vinci Code, and Hotel Rwanda. In more recent times, he graced the screen in Spike Lee's The Five Bloods and featured in Kevin Hart's Queeby series, Die Hard. Notably, Reno also maintains a thriving career in his home country, France, where he initially pursued acting after moving from his birthplace in Morocco during his teenage years. During the same year that Mission Impossible made its debut, Jean Reno embarked on a new chapter of his personal life. He exchanged vows with his second wife, Natalie Deskiewicz, and celebrated the arrival of his first child, a son named Tom, with a Polish model. This new beginning followed his divorce from his first wife, Genevieve Reno, with whom he shares a son and a daughter. Later, Jean and Natalie welcomed their daughter Serena in 1998 before ultimately parting ways in 2001. Subsequently, he entered into matrimony for the third time, marrying Zofia Boruka in 2006. Interestingly, his best man at the wedding was none other than Nicolas Sarkozy, who would later become the president of France. Jean and Sofia expanded their family to the birth of two sons, Cielo in 2009 and Dean in 2011. Ving Rhames as Luther. Ving Rhames, renowned for his portrayal of hacker Luther Stickel, an ex-IMF agent who allies with Ethan after their team's tragic demise, has maintained an enduring presence in the Mission Impossible film series, appearing in all six installments. Furthermore, his commitment to the role extends to the forthcoming MI7 and MI8. Beyond the Mission Impossible franchise, Ving Rhames has left an indelible mark in the world of cinema. His credits include notable films such as Con Air, Entrapment, Baby Boy, and Dawn of the Dead. In addition to his on-screen roles, he lent his distinctive voice to the character Cobra Bubbles in the Lilo and Stitch franchise. His exceptional performance as the legendary boxing promoter in the HBO made-for-TV movie Don King, Only in America, earned him a Golden Globe and secured an Emmy nomination. In his personal life, Ving Rhames experienced transitions as well. Following his separation from his first wife, Valerie Scott, in 1999, he embarked on a new chapter with his second wife, makeup artist Deborah Reed. Their union in 2000 coincided with the arrival of their daughter, Rain. The family expanded with the birth of their son, Freedom, in 2002. While they quietly separated in 2011, as of late 2020, they remained legally married. Kristen Scott Thomas as Sarah Davies. Kristen Scott Thomas acclaimed for her role as IMF agent Sarah Davies, tragically meeting her demise at the hands of the IMF mole during the ill-fated mission, saw her career ascend after the debut of Mission Impossible. A year later, she secured her first Oscar nomination, celebrated for her captivating performance in The English Patient. This marked the beginning of a remarkable journey through cinema, where she graced the screen in memorable films such as The Horse Whisperer, The Other Bolin Girl, Confessions of a Shopaholic, Darkest Hour, and the 2020 remake of Rebecca. 
Kristen Scott Thomas' artistic prowess extends to the stage, where she left an indelible mark as a highly regarded stage actress. In 2019, her excellence in acting earned her an Emmy nomination for her compelling work in a Fleabag episode. Looking ahead, this English actress, who has spent the majority of her adult life in France, is set to reunite with her MI co-star Jean Reno in the film The Man Who Saved Paris. She is also poised to make her directorial debut with the romantic drama The Sea Change, and is slated to feature in a sequel to Tomb Raider. In her personal life, Kristen Scott Thomas's journey includes a significant chapter with Francois Oliven, a French fertility expert with whom she shares three children. However, in 2005, the couple decided to part ways, marking a turning point in her life. Vanessa Redgrave as Max. Vanessa Redgrave, renowned for her portrayal of Max, the arms dealer entangled with the IMF mole, continued to grace the silver screen with her remarkable talent. Her post-Mission Impossible career saw her in a diverse array of films, from Deep Impact and Girl Interrupted, to Atonement, Foxcatcher, and The Butler. Beyond cinema, she ventured into television, making a memorable appearance on the short-lived medical drama Black Box. Notably, she shared the screen with her real-life daughter Jolie Richardson, portraying a mother-daughter duo on the medical drama. Her acting legacy also intertwines with her other daughter, the late Natasha Richardson, in films such as Evening and The White Countess. Vanessa Redgrave's vocal talents found a home as she narrated the BBC period drama Call the Midwife since 2012. Her cinematic presence remains strong with the May 2021 releases of Finding You and Georgetown. Following her role in Mission Impossible, this esteemed theater actress garnered three more Golden Globe nominations and secured three Tony nominations. Notably, she clinched the Tony Award for Best Actress in a Play in 2003 for her exceptional performance in the revival of Long Day's Journey into Night. In 2006, Vanessa Redgrave commemorated her union with actor Franco Nero in a non-legally binding ceremony, marking a cherished chapter in her life. Their connection dated back to their collaboration on the 1967 musical Camelot, where their bond first flourished. Together, they welcomed their son Carlo into the world before pursuing separate paths. During their time apart, Vanessa embarked on a long-term romance with Timothy Dalton. Carlo directed his mother in the 2004 drama The Fever, while Franco took the helm as director for her role in the upcoming Italian film L'Uomo C'è Disegno Dio, slated for later this year. Beyond her prolific acting career, Vanessa Redgrave ventured into directing, marking her debut with the 2017 documentary Sea Sorrow, a poignant exploration of the European migrant crisis, reflecting her deeply political convictions. Ingeborga Dapkenaite as Hannah, operating covertly under the pseudonym Pauline Brady, Hannah played a critical role in surveying the movements of Alexander Golitsyn during the mission to recover the CIA knock list in Prague, Czech Republic. In a devastating twist, her life was abruptly and violently extinguished when a car bomb was triggered. In the 1990s, Ingeborga Dapkenaite transitioned to film and gained international recognition. She appeared in various European and international productions. One of her most notable roles was in the 1997 film The Saint, in which she co-starred alongside Val Kilmer. Dapkenaite continued to work in English language films, gaining a reputation as a talented and versatile actress. She appeared in movies such as Hannibal Rising 2007 and Mission Impossible Ghost Protocol 2011. In addition to her film work, Dapkenaite has also been involved in television series and stage productions. She is known for her ability to portray complex and multifaceted characters. Ingeborga Dapkenaite prefers to keep her personal life private and there is limited information available about her personal affairs. Ingeborga Dapkenaiti's career has spanned several decades, and she has made significant contributions to both theater and film. Rolf Saxon as CIA analyst William Donlow. William Donlow, an American citizen, served as a crucial figure within the CIA, holding the position of an analyst and acting as the primary guardian of the non-official cover NOC list. This list contained information about covert agents strategically placed within a multitude of international organizations. Rolf Saxon is known for his work in various films, including his role as Captain Asshole in the 1999 cult classic film 
The Blair Witch Project. He has also appeared in other movies and television series, contributing his acting talents to different genres. After graduating from the Guildhall School of Music and Drama, Rolf Saxon received the prestigious gold medal, a testament to his exceptional talent and dedication to his craft. His career took off as he joined the Amplo Street Theatre Company, where he showcased his skills at the renowned Edinburgh Festival. His remarkable performance in the play The Price, where he portrayed Victor France, garnered critical acclaim and earned him the Best Actor in a Leading Role Award at the esteemed Manchester Evening News Theatre Awards. Saxon's versatility extended beyond the theatre as he made a significant impact in the world of film, television and even video games. He appeared in acclaimed movies like Saving Private Ryan and Tomorrow Never Dies, showcasing his ability to excel in diverse roles. On the small screen, his contributions to the TV series Agatha Christie's Poirot were equally notable. Furthermore, his involvement in video games, particularly the Broken Sword series and The Witcher, earned widespread recognition and numerous awards and nominations. Carol Dobry as Matthias Matthias plays a crucial role as a supporting antagonist in the 1996 blockbuster film Mission Impossible. His character serves as a formidable bodyguard, entrusted with the responsibility of safeguarding the enigmatic arms dealer known as Max. He graduated from the theatre faculty in the Academy of Performing Arts in Prague, DAMU, in 1994, and since then, he has been actively involved in the Czech and international film, television, and theatre productions. In addition to his acting career, Karol Dobry is also known for his work as a voice actor. He has provided voiceovers for various films, TV series, and video games. His versatile talent has made him a respected figure in the Czech entertainment scene. Carol Dobry's contributions to the world of acting, both on stage and on screen, have earned him recognition and respect among his peers and audiences alike. His work continues to be appreciated by those who enjoy Czech and international cinema and theatre. Marcel Luris as Alexander Galitsyn. Alexander Galitsyn is an operative affiliated with the Impossible Mission Force (IMF), and his mission involves assuming the role of a turncoat within the team. His primary objective is to unveil the true identity of the actual mole operating within the organization. Luris received his formal acting training at the Institute of Theatrical Arts and Cinematography in Bucharest, Romania. He then embarked on a successful journey in the world of theater, becoming a prominent figure on Romanian stages. His remarkable talent and dedication to his craft earned him recognition and acclaim within the theater community. In addition to his theater work, Marcel Luris also ventured into the realm of film, where he showcased his acting prowess in various roles. He became known for his ability to portray complex characters with depth and authenticity. One of his notable international appearances was in the film The Peacemaker, 1997, where he acted alongside George Clooney and Nicole Kidman. This marked his entry into Hollywood cinema, and he continued to take on diverse roles in both European and international films. Marcel Luris is widely regarded as one of Romania's finest actors, known for his contributions to the country's theatre and film industry. Throughout his career, he has received numerous awards and honours for his outstanding performances. In this journey through the Mission Impossible cast of 1996, we've seen how these talented actors have continued to make their mark in the world of entertainment. From Tom Cruise's enduring action-packed career, to the diverse endeavours of the supporting cast, they've all left a lasting legacy. As we reflect on their achievements, we're reminded that this film was just one chapter in their remarkable careers. Be sure to stay tuned for more updates on where these actors are today as their stories continue to unfold. Thanks for joining us on this mission to discover where are they now?